So this is just a quick tutorial of how to make a bamboo bendy bridge. Now we all have these bendy bridges for our pets at home, just like this. But they can be quite costly, so I'm going to show you how to make your own. So if you're using bamboo, then here I've got this sort of border edging thing that you can buy from garden centres. I bought this one from 99p store, which has just got like, lots of bits of bamboo. Or you can buy like the long poles you can buy of bamboo or anything really as long as it's just bamboo and not covered in any chemicals or anything then it should be fine or if you want you can use other type of twigs from your garden or whatever as long as they're properly sanitised okay so the equipment you'll be needing to make this is obviously some bamboo or some sort of twigs some quite thick but easily bendable wire which can also be purchased from garden centres. A drill with a piece just short, slightly bigger than the wire you're using, and some pliers. Okay, so first of all, you just have to take all the bits of bamboo or whatever you need off from the wire if you're using this type of bamboo if you're using a long piece of bamboo or whatever then obviously drill it not drill it and saw them to the correct size you need I'll just cut off the wire off the end if it cuts Here I have the amount of bamboo I would like. So now what I have to do is get my wire and measure the length of wire that I need to make it with. You need a little bit extra than the amount of bamboo you've got as you need to bits to tie off at the end. So you'll need two bits of wire the same length. Okay, so next you need to measure out where you need to draw the holes. I'd recommend doing it about an inch from the end of each stick and obviously they need to be in line with each stick On we need to do this on this side and this side and they need to be straight as well ok so that's all done now and now we need to just get our drill and our drill piece that, and drill the holes in them. And something I would recommend is if you're asthmatic or sensitive to dust or anything to wear one of these masks, which I am going to do as I am asthmatic. So yeah, it's just a recommendation. Also, obviously, if you're a young child or don't really know how to use a drill or an older or whatever, then do get a parent or a responsible adult to do the drilling for you to save from injuries. So yeah. Okay, so I've now drilled holes in them all. As you can see. And I just need to get my piece of wire and start threading through the first set of holes. Okay, so that's all done now. I also forgot to mention it would be a good idea if you fold the end of the wire up like this with the pliers to make sure they don't fall off the end and also do the same at the end of the end bit of wire here just to stop the bits from falling off and having to redo each job. Anyway, next we need to get the other bit of wire and then do the same with that. Okay, so there we go. So what I'm going to do now is just sort out the ends here. So I'll just show you what I'm going to do there. So I'll make it safe for your gerbils or hamster, whatever you want to make them for. And the big ones for guinea pig or rabbits if you like. You can cut it short off if you like, but for what I'm going to use it for, I can't. 
and you basically just fold it over like that and then you can just flatten it up so then the twigs cannot get off and also the animals can't get too the end of the wire and if you can see that just loop it over like that do that on all four ends yeah, it bends quite well and you just bend it into whatever shape you like I made mine quite big so yes it's already able but I'm going to use it too I'm going to hang it up from the lid of the tank like that so that's why I've left like quite long bits on the end here so I'm going to like uh, put it through the mesh so it stays up so I think I'll be I'm quite happy with that yeah. I think it turned out quite well so if you want to make your own then just go ahead if you like this tutorial see you in my next video bye